And today, guys, we are showcasing a build that I've been using low-key on the side, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. Typically, I love high damage DPS one-shot builds, stuff to get through horror content fast. But sometimes I like builds that give you the ability to survive almost anything and just play the game a little bit different. As you guys have seen, so much armor and still pretty good decent survivability and that's what i'm having fun doing with this one right here so as we're building our stacks we are going to get stronger when i say stacks you'll see that i do have the little memento build and you guys know the more stacks the more survivability you get right and dps and you'll see that in just a few i am literally just running through these guys right um pretty solid this is probably a build that a lot of you guys could put together and maybe not have the exact expertise but you'll still have the same type of survivability and then obviously as you get your expertise up the weapon will get stronger so the build will be a little bit more effective what i love about this honestly is just the bonus armor and the constant regen we're getting on this building and you're gonna see it's pretty impressive we're sitting about i want to say 135,000 armor regen on the build and we'll show you that in a second but every time i pick up a trophy until i'm at max stack i am becoming stronger and stronger and stronger and that right there is why this is cool now you'll notice my damage really gets stronger when i do have bonus armor and well there's a reason why not because it's just the memento but because of the talent i am running but overall i think a lot of you guys are going to really enjoy this one what we'll do is we'll do the full control point so you guys can just see hey it's very effective if you need it to be and I, I don't know for me having that much bonus armor having some crazy amount of armor regen it's very easy to keep up and if you need to you can see that i have the shield available to me right the shield is always there it's kind of like my safety net if i need to use it i will use it do i always need to use it no it's just not something you need to do but it's there when i do need it and that is what makes this tank survivability build so fun to use and allows you to survive and i think we just have two waves left yeah we got some enemies over here that we just need to take out and then we'll dive right into the build i have a full build breakdown for you as i always do and i'll show you all the stats everything you guys need to know on how to set this one up i think a lot of you guys will have a lot of fun with this one so what we did oh, oh, we just got this guy here. and look we're, the damage is honestly not bad it's there we're able to get through these enemies and depending if we have the bonus armor or not depends on how hard we're hitting and just look how look, look at the you see that bonus armor when we get it huge chunks and when we get like two kills it's almost like the enemy can't get through it so we're just gonna finish this guy off I'm gonna have no bonus armor, so I lose a little bit of my damage, and I'll explain that in a few. But hey, still able to get this. Well, we did this one in about three minutes. A little over three minutes. Not bad, right? Hero control point, three directives. Finish him off. Boom. And then we just have, I think, one guy over here. Oh, this guy. And then I think we're done. So here we go. You guys saw the build in action. It's probably one of the funner builds to use, especially because it has so much survivability and you wouldn't expect it to be able to put out some type of damage like this. It's not something that's going to be the greatest DPS build, but it's going to have a lot of survivability and allow you to mow down these enemies pretty effectively. So let's get into the build. So for the mask, we are running the chill out mask. If you do not have this mask, well, you can just run a regular Gilligar mask and all the difference is I get two mod slots so I have all crit damage mods if you're running regular Gilligar mask you're going to have a crit chance roll crit damage and a crit damage mod on there 170,000 armor on this one we are running a three-piece Gilligar so this is going to give us total armor 60% health and 2% armor region you can see we're at 2 million armor right 625,000 total health which that allows us if we do get in those areas where we're struggling 
we can pretty much still survive a little bit because that's a ton of health that we have on this build. For our chest piece, we're running a Golden Gear chest piece. It's the name chess piece, so the Hunter Kill, the one you get from completing the 13 Hunters in New York City. We have a two piece, so the two piece is gonna give us that 1.5% armor region. So you see we have 2% on one. So we're sitting at 3.5% armor region on this build already and a little bit more in a second. We have armor on here. We have critical damage, we have armor regen, and we have a critical hit damage mod. Now we do have perfect intimidate here. When you have bonus armor, you gain one stack each second up to a max stack of 10. Each stack increases your weapon damage by 4%. So that means you can have a total of 40% extra weapon damage on this build when you have bonus armor. And we're gonna have a lot of bonus armor and I'll explain why in a second. All stacks are lost when you have no bonus armor. So we do have armor, crit damage, armor regen, and critical hit damage mod. For our second piece of Gilligard, we are running the holster and we have armor on here. We have health. You could put armor region if you want to have a little bit more armor region. You can have put health if you want to have a little bit more health. Up to you. And then a critical hit damage roll. For the knee pads, we have our sec our third piece of Gilligard. So we're gonna have armor. We have health on here. You can put armor region again if you want to have a little bit less health. And then we have 12% critical damage. Remember, we have 60% extra health. So if we start adding those health rolls, it's going to give us nice chunks of bump in health, depending on how you want to run the build. For the gloves, we're running the Golden Gear gloves. This is going to give us armor, critical damage, and critical hit chance on here. And then for the bag, we have the Momento backpack. That's where we're getting more weapon damage, more armor, more skill tier. And then obviously we have 6% crit chance mod rolled on here. Ideally, if you run that regular Gilligard mask, um, that I told you, you don't have the chill out mask. Well, then that's where you put crit damage here because you're going to have the 6% crit chance on the other piece. doesn't really matter. I just put that piece there. So we have kill confirmed on here. Now, every time we pick up a trophy, we're getting 5% weapon damage, but we're getting 60% bonus armor. Yes, yeah, 60% bonus armor of 2 million armor. That's why when I get like one or two kills back to back, you see those chunks of armor just really stack in 5%. Um, we're also getting 5% skill efficiency. Now, don't forget, once you get 30 trophies, that's a 30 stack. And you can keep that for 300 seconds every time you get one more kill, one more kill, one more kill, right? So we have 30% weapon damage additional, right? 30% skill efficiency and 3% armor region. Now, you pair that with the 3.5% we already have, so 6.5% armor region on the build. And at max stat, we'll be sitting about 135,000 total armor region on this build and i'll show you a screenshot right now this is with full stacks 200,000 armor on kill 135,000 almost 136,000 armor region 625,000 max health now if we don't have full stacks let me show you real quick i just show you that see same stats 75,000 armor region this is before the momental stacks so keep that in mind. That's why it's so good and so effective sitting at 2 million armor. So much survivability. And we still have the damage because if you look here, 53% crit chance, 151% crit damage, 70% headshot damage. Plus we have the 10% damage targets out of cover. So even though we're not just shredding through enemies, we're still performing really well with this build. And that is what makes this build good. So if you guys want to see this build and actually want to try it out, you guys can try it here. For the weapon, we are running the Ouroboros. Now, the Ouroboros is going to have a base damage of 72,000, has 1,485 RPM, 50 mag in the mag. We have SMG damage, crit chance, 10% crit damage. And then we do have this at 25 expertise because I'm showing you the potential of the build. Now, can you run this at lower expertise? Yes. Will it be as effective? That is something for you just to keep testing, but this is just something for you guys to look forward to. If you guys want to see, I was shredding through. It was heroic, right? Pretty easy there. For the secondary, run whatever you want. Now, if you don't have the Ouroboros, you can run something like the Vector SBR, and that'll allow you to run the Scorpio too. So really up to you how you guys want to run this. Have fun with it. Test it out. Enjoy, and then let me know how you guys like it. For the skills, I do the Crusader Shield because if I'm fighting enemies and a little bit too further away, I want to protect my bonus armor. So I pop it up, take some of that damage. It's a tier six, so a lot of protection you get there. And also the Banshee Pulse will disorient the enemy. So two ways for you guys to run this. Very good build. Thank you guys will enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, nothing must kills out. <laughs>